Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, Skylar Fox, and we are just going to jump right into this. My husband. What will I do? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Oh. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. Rookwoods. You want to ask questions because I bet you'll find it better. Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Uh, 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 uh. Mm. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. Going to do. <laughs> well, Please that's a little bit rough. We will bring Archie home. So, when I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bicker. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but. We were too late. Oh, yeah. What did well, Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? Trying to talk! She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide Rebellion. all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Hmm, this a chest. This is the little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Archie Look at the size he of that thing. done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Huh. There! Archie's footprints. He okay. went this way. That was easy. So guess what happened, right? I recorded a whole episode. I we would have found Archie by now. And I it deleted keep running if he's being from my PlayStation without if uploading. Harlow that's pursuing him. I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Revelio. There we go. Got to kind of do Revelio a couple times so the, the tracks disappear. Rose, prepare for a fight. <laughs> Right. What what fight? I hope I can cross paths with that wolf pack. It's possible. We should look around. So anyways, yeah. I was unable to upload the part 15 that I wanted to do. So this is going to be part 15 right here. Um, as well as I am finished with my class. I, my next class is going to be Photoshop, so I'm excited for that. Just a lot of adulting things going on in my life right now. And not to mention, you know, the struggles with like the mental disabilities and shit like that. So, I mean, just a lot caught up to me and I didn't get to finishing this yet. So that's what we're going to do. Revelio. 
Looks like I need to do revelio in this little tiny spot, but I found something already. What's this? His bag. Oh, gee, Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for revelio again. Archie went this way. Okay. Oh, look, a deer. Yeah, no, it's been uh, I a little bit of a struggle working this. full time and all that. Hallow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I wonder too. I I'm a bit curious. Hallow kill his father. Rebellion. Would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. What's great is. You know, I'm back doing this. I've got a few plans for the channel. Nice. Unlocked a fast travel point. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, oh yeah, great. Hallow caught up to him here. Probably following him, yeah. They went this way. <sighs> so I have to get to level 23 before I can do the main mission here. Oh, is that a beast I can capture? I forget how to Rebellion. do it. There we go. My satchel. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals yep. too. I witnessed death when I was nine. So Guess I won't be able to get him. I don't really want him. However, I do want that there. I found comfort as to, in it. As a I offense, you know. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Revelio. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was a Whoa. Mother and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I you talked too much. Mm, let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Yeah, duh. I was trying to and then you stopped. Going this way, following the prince. And ooh, we've got company. Very much destroyed him. Ah. Revelio. All right, what we got? That doesn't work either. Nope. I guess we'll come back to that. We gotta go up in here. Wow, this is so much bigger than it looks on the outside. That's so funny. Expect this tent to be so large on the inside. Right. That complicates things a little. Great. Okay. Rebellion. Let's go down here. I just yawned. A little tired. It's been an exhausting week. I think he saw it happen, do you? Confront him. Why else would he have run? Ah, the pole. Incendio. 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 
Protego, protection spell. You regret what? Badass spell, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh shit, I miss. Good night! Ooh, I exploded that guy. Not on my watch. Ended. That was a good battle. I love the combat in this game so much. Always impressed with it. Can't wait to unlock all the dark magic and stuff. Uh, let me hear that voice again. Uh, was that downstairs somehow? Revelio. Yeah, it had to have been downstairs. Yep, luck. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Mm, we'll get it unlocked. It's probably one of these. Or the opposite direction. Oh, yep, right there. Unlocked. Alright, let's save this kid and get out of here. Come on, Archie. Are you coming or not? Oh, we have to speak with him first. Whoops. So sorry, Arch. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. We do, huh? I guess so. Just uh, appearing outside of nowhere. about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. <laughs> we don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not Could give me a couple bucks, but whatever. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. All right, so quest completed. I wonder if that'll bring me up to level 23. You'll be hearing from me 
as soon as I know something. Thank you for your uh, help today. Just barely. All right. We're going to do a cut. Did I know? This dude just said it, I made a mistake coming here. I don't think so. He even made a mistake facing me. So as I was, going to meet up with Sebastian real quick. And I do another cut for the travel. Alright, met up with Sebastian. That relic you mentioned, I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Okay. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Hmm. I'm ready to explore right, the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Yeah, I bet he would. Per last episode that I was supposed to upload, but it didn't get uploaded. Student report, catacomb assigned, yielded more than I'd imagine. Okay. Well, I'm not reading all of it, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read the rest. I'll be interested so we're, to we're going in. Lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Well, you know that reminds me of the Paris catacombs, but we call it catacombs, not catacombs. I'm which sure is kind of is interesting with the student's Try accent. Your nerve just yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can do that on a spider? Sweet. Got lit up, buddy. At least now we know we're not alone, huh? Perhaps mm. that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be set free. Yeah, the spiders aren't in I'm gonna have to go with the uh, Livioso or Ascendio, I mean. Accio. Accio. tempting. We're here for a reason. Accio. The mall is justified. Wingardia Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Gotta see what's up here really quick. This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. Yeah, I know, right? There's something right here. Oh, collectible updated. Right on. All right. Let us press on forward. It's a bit of a little, a little bit of an eerie catacomb scene right here. So I'm gonna break back out. Uh, Crucio. It does help. Hell yeah. I'm betting right after I'm done with this side mission, I'll be able to um, do the main mission that I really want to do. So I'm going to go this way. As I did open up a door, wondering where it leads to. Ah. Same area we were just at. Just like a real catacomb, you'll get lost real quick. 
Uh, which that I already am. Revelio. I mean, what am I gonna do with that? Oh, I did pull out some stuff, so I mean, that's cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a cut real quick. A bit lost. Oh, oh, I think that means we're going the right way. Mess up these spiders, bruh. Mess them up. Okay. All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. We'll be fine. Sure, we'll be fine. Huh. Lost yet again. That only took like five seconds for me to get lost in here. Revelio. I'll take that. Maybe I go this way, who knows. I'll find a way out. Look, I got a thing. I got this. Yeah, we'll see. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Okay, it seems like we found a new room. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. It is raided. Uh, okay, so we got an extra door. I want to look at this. By the altar. Like I said, I'm not reading all this. Feel free to pause it if you want to read it. Nothing really important, I would say. Oh, very nice. Crucio is like my go-to defense mechanism. That is until I get Avada Kedavra. I'll take your soul. Alright. What do you want to it talk like about? part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Ah, <laughs> very punny. We're in the two. Oh. I found something, but it doesn't look like I can grab it. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I have this really weird idea that this might work. Repair work. Nope, guess not. Well, I think I have to do that for some reason. And I'm not sure I'm supposed to bring him over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming I have to do that with this guy too. It's so gonna build a doorway. That's what I could only assume that that's about to happen, you know? So I'm gonna pull this one out. Bones. So bring all the bones to the wall. Should bridge an archway and making a You've door. Very nice. I felt it in my bones. Nice. <laughs> Enough of Before the puns, you man. Further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an un, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the. I think I'm learning control. dark magic. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Let's do it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. So that's what we'll do. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Well, it should be pretty easy. It's like a four, like the Fantastic Four. Oops. But I learned it. There we go. There we go. Something troubling ahead. All right, let's test this out. Oh. Right, so that's the one that turns them against them. Like, that that's the one that makes the enemies your friends. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop off this guy. Burn this whole place to the ground. Okay, I'm done with you. Almost close to level 23. That means we can go to the main mission right after this, I bet. So the barricade. Considering how well you did on the last shouldn't be that hard. How gracious of you. I try. So we're gonna need to find two more bones. I wonder what that is. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with room symbols. Oh great. Not a hundred percent sure how this is gonna go, but I need to find more bones somehow. Money, I like money. Okay, so this is the door we came in. We're gonna press on forward. I'm sure that there's a couple more places we can go, like right here. Oh, yep, big ass spider. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna change him. Hope, hopefully this works. Yes. That dude's like, you made me hurt my family. You know what? I'm going to put all my dark magic on real quick. I love the way he says it. The way he says it is pretty sick. Never despise debate such 
All right, looks like we found a bone room of some sort. Got a lot of gear. No bones. I need two sets of bodies. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. No body. Got money. All right, right here. Ah, no body. Slots are full. I like how I walk by these flames. Just as the student summary described, I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Uh, yep, don't see any bones I can take from here. Damn it. Alright then. Not here either. Take a couple things just in case. We're gonna do another cut real quick. Well, I figured it out, so you're gonna wanna pull on these. Each symbol is gonna be the door that opens, so we're gonna go like this. And like that. Nope, wrong fucking door. So, this, and then like that. Right. So now that's open. No bones, but we've opened each door. So now I'm wondering, where could the last body be? So I found the bones, which was like literally sitting right in front of me. So I got all three of them and then I ran into this room and here we are fighting a bunch of spiders. More than we were before we walked through all these bone doors. Whoa! Yeah, I want that big guy on my side. A second dark magic move. That's so cool. I can't wait for a bot of code For a moment. Yes, level 23. We can now do the main mission. And hopefully get out of here while we're at it. Okay. Dead end. Lovely. I feel like you've been Don't give up coming yet. with me a lot, and every time you come with me a lot. I end up getting dead ends anyways. Okay, I feel like this symbol is gonna mean something Sebastian, here in a little bit. Oh. The relic! Look! That's Could the relic. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. I mean, obviously. This, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I think I do. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. All right. I must keep this relic secret. Special Dude's cool. turning dark on me, so yep, he's no longer probably gonna be my friend after this. Oh, look who it is. Ominous. 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 The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. 
but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. <laughs> All right, let's talk with Ominous. Here. Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind, something has to. I need your help. <sighs> Here we go. A choice that might stop everything from going the way I want it to go. We'll see. Let's You're just right. do it. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! All right. We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. We're getting out of here. Right. I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh god, no I'm not. And it doesn't give me a way out. Alrighty then, we're just gonna find our way out. Cut. Oh yeah, we've got a problem. Coming out of the catacombs, Feldcroft is now burning. Oh god, we took something that we shouldn't have, I know it. Going my way, that's for sure. Be gone with you. There we go. Oh no. That was dark. Boy! What have you done? Saved my sister. Will an unforgivable curse. From that damn book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. 
Oh no. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Alrighty then. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, well, Sebastian. Tattletale. All right, quest complete. Looks like we can start the main mission now. Finally. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. Uh oh. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. We're gonna do a cut. All right, we're back at Hogwarts. We're in the map room. We're gonna have to talk to Fitzgerald. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Okay. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. All right. Very interesting. We have How a trial at Hogwarts. To the headmaster's office. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Professor Fig, where's Professor Fig at? There we go. Now we got a waypoint. I gotta tell you, I have still really enjoy this game. However, I have been playing Jedi Survivor. I'm thoroughly enjoying that one. Um, I must say a lot more than this, but Hogwarts Legacy has been a great game nonetheless. So I'm really content on finishing it. Of course, because I really wanted to do a walkthrough for Jedi Survivor, but I'm purely just playing it for my own enjoyment. And you know what? I have everything good to say about that game. One, being a Star Wars fan. Two, being a different, and you can customize Cal Castus. It's awesome. It's not like the customization here where you uh, can just get a customization, stick with it, and then do hairstyles. I don't even know if you can change your appearance in this game. However, you can change your hair, facial hair, clothes, and everything in Calcasus. Uh, in Calcasus's inventory so if that makes sense you go to your star menu customization and that's how you do it so I mean but this game has still satisfied me in every way 
I just don't like how I have to wait for a door to open. But that just goes to show you how big this game is. And, yeah, I'm enjoying this as well. I have nothing to complain about, except for a few things. But, well, I'll just keep that to myself. We're here. We're going to talk to Professor Fig. Okay, that was creepy. And he should be right here. See what I'm talking about? I don't like that. I love how I'm just sitting on his floor. I hope I... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and... I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <laughs> Cheers, mate. What is happening? Oh. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now All right. Find the headmaster's house elf. Now we look like Professor Black. That's so funny. No, we're going to have to go and head downstairs. I swear I get lost in this place all the time. Wish I could just jump down. Right? Nope, going this way. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, oh I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> You'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. 
<clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> no, That's ridiculous. Which student gets the Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. <laughs> when I Watching him. What passes for magic in these halls? I... What could the headmaster want? Watching him trying to impersonate Black is is hilarious. So. Serious Black. I am back. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment. Headmaster? Yeah. What could he want? Yeah. Has anyone How? seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We. We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor. More than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Hmm. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> I want to see if I can get as much dirt as I can on this dude as possible. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. <laughs> this is great. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Yes, it is. You're in trouble. Where is my elf? I need my Stand elf. Proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the few Professor, I need to speak to you. Nope, not today. Hello, oh Professor. dang it. Ah, I was really hoping Professor I'd just pass her up. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Hmm. Huh. I kind of hope I just made all the right decisions. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. She glitched out so bad. That was I'd funny. I'd like to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's... Ahem. Uh, Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. 
Uh, of course, sir. Uh, scope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Uh... It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Mm, the okay. potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. When will it wear off, it though? Just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Okay. Nice. All right, so... We're going to actually stop it right here. If you have watched all the way up to this point, I do appreciate you guys. Everybody that is subscribed, I love you very much for all of your support. If you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It only takes five seconds, along with even dropping a like or a comment below. You know me, I'm your host, Skylar Fox. Love you guys. Peace out.